Hello Strutters, Dan here with our OK's Red Green Bloodbriar deck. Uh, we didn't do too well last week, but now it's time to try again. Right, here we go. Against our hat. I can keep this. Why do we play three drops in Pauper? You should never ever play three drops. That was rough. Okay, let's do this. We are keeping this hand. We are playing the Rebirth on the Wellspring. Oh, it's that weird white deck. This will be fun. The one I just played for four weeks. Um, there's that thing. Do we now? We are not going to sacrifice the life staff anyway. So I am thinking... I am thinking that life stuff would still... No, we won't have three mana turn three. So we are getting a red here. Whiteout seems very, very weak to have in the main deck. Well, if it has the, the flying guy. Oh no, two, two first strike. What must we do? We must suffer. The consequences of his enormous first striking. Okay, I'm getting a red. And I am going wellspring all over him. Sparksmith seems pretty powerful here. If I can I can go Sparksmith Goblin. I mean <laughs> I can do the Sparksmith thing next turn for four to kill him, so I am playing Sparksmith here for sure. And now yeah, let's just hope he doesn't uh, become bigger than for toughness. He missed the land drop. I don't think he will. Oh no! Provoke, I forgot about it. Right, oh god, yeah. That's what Death Play Elite is good for. Uh, so he will just kill a ton of blockers. He is the abyss. Uh, so if I do my rebirth now. It's not going to help. So I am going to get another land and then I can play the life stuff and equip it to someone who will block him. And then he will actually die because he will take two damage. He can kill. We can kill two of them, so he will only take one damage, so that doesn't work anyway. Unless one of them is spike shot, but he is super expensive. And surely he has a combat trick or something. We need to draw a lightning bolt, that's what we need to do. Oh, nice. Uh, Apostle's Blessing or something. Bark Shell Blessing. Plus two, plus two. Yeah, I think Flame Slash would be better than Bolt here. Uh, I think we still have to do the Rebirth just to draw the card. Here are the Goblins. And we play the life stuff and equip it. He can only force one of them to block. And with the life stuff, I can easily outrace him. Easily is the wrong, but he. God. 
getting a message. I know I shouldn't read messages when I'm making videos. Uh, filming, sorry, Jorge. This is not a good place to contact me. So I'm always playing when I'm on. And always filming. So he dies. Here comes the sacred cup. With lifelink. And here we have Bloodbriar. So suddenly now things are much better. Can Bloodbriar die? We only have one sacrifice thing. So yes, plus two, plus two, and Bloodbriar dies. I think I'm still playing Bloodbriar. No, I'm, I'm staying at home here. Does this work? Well, we can just kill it with a virtual blessing. First strike and provoke. Pretty powerful. But it targets the goblin. Uh, three... Six power. And he needs to spend... I'm gonna block him with everything. Goblin token, goblin token, blood briar. Yeah, then he can kill them and still live with four power. Because he only takes three. But now we went to damage, so he died. Why didn't he die? What am I missing here? Why didn't he die? Oh, did, he didn't prevent all combat damage. Shouldn't he have taken two? Oh, it's first strike. Yeah, this is the damage step. Then he died. Alright. And then that shows up. And now Spike Shot Goblin will do a number on everything. Um, sacrifice a land. Uh, this is starting to look good for the evil deck. Spike Shot Goblin. Equip life staff. Swing for five. Oh, and equip life staff. Okay, now it feels better. So Death Play Elite can take out Spice of Goblin now. Um, maybe he should. He concedes. Please don't quit on us. Um, we definitely want to kill his enchantments, right? So we need Tranquility Serene Heart. 
Clark Clan Shaman for all his mine small dudes. Or is that what we want? Gorilla Shaman doesn't do anything. We don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that. We're taking out Whiteout. We definitely need Tranquility and Serene Heart. What's not to love? Sparksmith seems really good. I'm taking out the Chirurgeon. And what? What do I take out? Spike Shot seemed really good too. I'm taking out the Chirurgeons. I'm not sure that is correct. Oh no, I put in two Clark on Shamans. I'm gonna take out one. Because... Uh, no, Clark on Shaman is worse than Chirurgeon here. Surely is. Am I deck su submitted? Don't you usually get feedback that your deck is submitted? Is there something wrong with my deck? And here we go for game two. I'm only gonna no lander. I'm only gonna another no lander. I keep this and I bottom the great furnace. So I have to bolt his first creature. That's uh, my only hope here. Is to bolt something. Uh, yes, I'm not gonna let down my guard. He plays very few creatures. If I have, actually have the chance to bolt something. Um, that guy is gonna be hard to bolt. I am still playing more greater, keeping up Bolt. You can now give protection red for one white. So the timing of the Bolt is very critical now. Skyfisher bounces something. Probably that land. And now we can protect the Skyfisher. Why didn't he attack? Uh, I get green. Okay, so he has Skyfisher. That means he is a totally different deck than I thought. I have no idea what he is. Cycle your land. And he does, so I can bolt the Skyfisher. Once again, we are in desperate need of Bloodbriars. But not much is happening. Did he just pack a Hyena Umbra? I thought it was the Mono White Heroic deck. But we haven't seen any Heroic creatures yet. So I don't know what I'm playing against. Maybe now he has a, that uh, protection wall colors guy. Okay, now we get a Traven Inspector. What's that about? Another Skyfisher. Tranquility doesn't seem very useful right now. Whereas against the Mono White Heroic deck, it would feel quite useful. Here's Terrarian. So having to wait one turn to sack it really, really feels bad. And once again, we don't have a Bloodbriar. So, we're not doing much. I 
And that's kind of a shame. And uh, now we have the other sideboard card. So yes. Yeah, yes. War Marshal. And equip War Marshal. Not much happening over here. At all. He draws a card with a clue. And I think he definitely has the better long game than I do. So I think I'm gonna suffer badly here. Uh, Deathblade Elite with protection from red, not bad. I need to draw a Blood Briar now. That's what I need to do. Am I paying this Echo or not? Don't want to do it. Maybe I should have. I did have the mana. But I just got very greedy about the life. This feels weird. It feels like my deck is missing something. And of course it is. It's missing Bloodbriar because it doesn't do anything without Bloodbriar. Though sp no, Spike Shot and um, Sparksmith wouldn't do anything against Crimson Acolyte either. Even more clues. Wellspring. That's the wrong order, right? He didn't start to pick off my goblins. That's good. Quicksand. I can white out quicksand. I bought it out white out again, right? Well, his ground assault is pretty damaged by uh, quicksand. Okay, he's never gonna tap out now. There's just nothing happening here. Nothing to see here. We dealt with the first core sky fish of this one. It's going to do some serious damage. Misidentifying the opposing deck is of course a, a major sin. But he's not killing us quickly. Here it comes. Mr. Uh, Provoke guy. And of course we can sacrifice a goblin to make him bigger. And that's probably what we should do. Which means that... Uh, oh no. The targeting... Oh god. <laughs> I misclicked. Okay. So we're using this ability. Choosing him as the target, sacrificing that guy. Damn it, that was an unnecessary sacrifice of a goblin. Kind of giving up mentally here. And that's one of my major flaws as a player. I should have put the life staff on another guy, of course. 
has he given him protection yet? I, I'm just gonna let him die here. Wow. Okay, he doesn't have protection yet, but I will leave it. He doesn't tap out. Hmm. <clears throat> Sparksmith. <laughs> Why didn't I use quicksand? Uh, because he was too big for that. I could have used quicksand. And now Sparksmith is going to get it. But now he can't attack with Death Blade Elite because he used his... He must have something else. So I'm gonna use Quicksand now. He has another grow spell, wow. That's a lot of growth spells. So he becomes a 1 2. I'm bolting him now, doesn't do anything. So well, that happens, and uh, Sparksmith dies. I'm blocking you, I'm giving up. What's happening? Why didn't I have to block? That's weird. Okay, we have active Sparksmith. And a Bloodbriar. We can't sacrifice anything. We can do four damage to stuff. And we do have a lightning bolt, that's weird. But if he has another Bark Shell Blessing, he can kill Bloodbriar. I really sideboarded him wrong, I'm really punished for it. Uh, except that I'm not. So away you go, three cards left. So now I can actually kill something. He provokes Sparksmith. Can I kill something? You need to do it twice. No, I can't kill something. Uh, I block. He gets protection from red, has two mana left. Taking four damage to prevent it. No, no, this, this will never ever work. But we do have tranquility. Uh, which is good. And then we have this thing. We get the land. And we put life stuff on the blood bro
And uh, now maybe we have something going. Uh oh. Race is on. It's on the streets. Okay. Bloodbury is indeed blocking. Why are you doing this? Do you have another grow spell? A white grow spell that can actually deal with this? Oh, I should have blocked. I should have realized that. Well played. God, I just want this to end now. I'm really in, mentally in a bad place. And this is a place I end up in when I play these aggro decks, the sort of like dirtles. And I can't focus because I feel so helpless. Uh, and I should really work on that. And I'm hungry now as well. But we got to produce some content for you guys. I should have seen Celestial Flare coming there, right? But it was not a card I had seen in this match up to this point. So maybe it wasn't that surprising. Here comes Hyena Umbra. 2-2. Two, two. Oh well. Why not get rid of it? It doesn't seem like a very hard deck to beat, but my deck is so... Ah, maybe I should blame my deck. I am so bad! What? Why are you doing that? Orim's Cure? Okay. Well, this time I'm paying the Echo. And now I have double Lightning Bolt. To no end. I could have brought in Ancient Grudge for the Bone Splitters, but I don't think there are too many of them. I could Ancient Grudge my own Wellsprings as well. But I don't think there will be a third duel. He's just picking off our goblins. Loyal Cathar. Yeah, not even a Bloodbriar can save us now, right? Hmm. Uh, take a look at the deck list. I'll include it in the show notes and let me know what you think can be improved with the deck. This has taken too long, so I don't know if there will be a third week or not, but we shall see. Okay, here's Protection Red. We can't block Protection Red, so it's uh, it's a good game. We can sacrifice... Oh, we can actually bolt the Mog War, Mog War Marshal. <laughs> can he protect it? Yes, he can. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Very nice. Uh, hey, did I win the first one? Interesting. Okay, I'm bringing in ancient uh, grudge. And I don't think I'm gonna use Serene Heart because it seems to be only the Hain Umbra. So that is my plan, I think. Do you agree with the sideboarding? Tell me how you would have sideboarded. Okay, so what can I get? I can get an early rebirth attack that won't work on him. And I have to find the Bloodberry. Surely there must be something in red green that is more powerful than these like unimportant goblins. This looks like an interesting thing, though I have to get green mana somewhere, so I'm not gonna get the war marshal out. But I, of course, I have to keep this, so I'm gonna. Oh, he mulligans. I'm gonna protect myself with a bolt. And then I'm going panorama into Bloodbriar. I think. Do we kill Traven Inspector? I think we do. He will bounce and stuff. And we won't have the time next turn. Oh, now we get Evolving Wilds instead. Hmm. I'm still gonna do it. So now the bounce of the Skyfisher becomes way worse. Loyal Cathar shows up. I go get the forest. It's really hard to say which is the forest one. And I feel I should play Bloodbriar here. Because if he has a journey, it will uh, always work on Mr. Bloodbriar. And that is his way of getting rid of it, right? And we know he has to grow spells, so. We're not gonna block. This is somewhat dangerous as well, but we do have Kolortha Rebirth. So now we get, he can have two grow spells, but maybe then I am way too scared. Or am I? We saw he had plenty of grow spells. So maybe we should just make it so that we are safe <sighs> rebirth to four five is echo sacrifice i think it is Am I too chicken here? He will have one card, but he will. I, I won't be able to get through. If he kills this Bloodbriar, how do I get through? But he has to have two. It's so unlikely these are two grow spells. I will attack. No, I will atta not attack because of Celestial Flare as well. So I'm waiting. And then I have Clark Crown Shaman for the extra sacrifice. Well, I can't do that because then all of my creatures die. Clark Crown Shaman seems like something that should only be in the sideboard. A rune of protection for red. Uh, what? 
That seems weak. I do sacrifice it now, right? Yes. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, well, it's, it's it's not anything. Well, doing one damage to ground creatures is maybe a little clever here. Do I want to do that? That seems super wrong. But I would kill them. I would kill them both. Hmm. It seems wrong. Then I will just die to Celestial Flare. I should just have attacked with one goblin. It's tempting. But surely it's wrong. Okay. He didn't circle himself. Because he wanted to draw a card. So now the sacrifice. He equips it to a 4 2. Can you do the crypt threat thing with Krokhan Shaman? No, it's not X. He does die. Okay, now we become a 6 7. That will be good. No, I don't think so. And then we have Life Staff. That's pretty good. Because now we can attack with something else as well, like that. I think that sound. Oh, he's blocking. That scares me. Test of faith. Okay. Oh my god. But he doesn't get the counters before Right, so it's now a 7-5, but my guy still lives. Which means that we put the Shaman into play. And we life staff it. So now a 7-5 Cathar. But we only need to sacrifice one thing. But we still need to sacrifice one thing. Uh, Mog Raider! We are looking for Mog Raider! Okay, he attacks. 
I'm just going to block with this guy. Because I'm not sacrificing anything. I only need one more thing. But if he can become a 9-7, I still kill him with life staff. But killing loyal Cathar is not what we are doing here. We need to sacrifice something. Wow, this is great. If he blocks, we can finish him with Bolt. He, of course, he doesn't block. Because he remembered. What's that? Cradle of the Accursed. Oh God, I only have four minutes left. Got to play faster. I think I can win this. He does attack, but then we can do the same thing. Block. And bolt him at the end of turn. Deathblade Elite. Hope he doesn't gain three more counters now. Hey, he did. <laughs> That's a shame. So now he's at 10 8. Another goblin is uh, about to die. Six, seven, seven, eight. We need more sacrifice outlets. I'm gonna lose this on the clock. With this deck, I never thought that would happen. So I have to get through with the Bloodbriar. And that kind of sucks as well. Oh, so now I have to block that guy. But I can also block like that. And he prevents all damage. Now he's tapped out. That doesn't mean anything. I have 3 minutes and 51 seconds left. I think I need to F6. As we did in the old days. There we go. 7, 8. He has one card in hand. And I'm 8-9. So I need to sacrifice one more thing to live. Or, or to make this happen. But will that be in time? I'm not sitting on my ancient grudge, right? My ancient grudge would be pretty good here. Three minutes. 
Same deal as last time. And I block like last time. One more rebirth would be the best draw I think here. He has plenty of champ blockers. Tree of Tails, that's not what we wanted. And I, I have to have more champ blockers. Same block. Six. Two minutes, 34 seconds. Give to me something good. That's probably not good enough. We shall see. That's good enough. Uh, for red. And now we're there. So I equip life staff. And I am a 10 10. Why am I 10 10? That's not going to work. I need to be 11 11. That's not going to work at all. So I. Bolt the death bay elite. Need one more sacrifice. Of course, he has a grow spell at this point. But we will still kill the Cathar. Okay, he doesn't know, know how rune of protection works. And I don't have time to educate him. And we are off to the next turn. Uh, I think I'm taking it. Because uh, I need two attackers. But that means I'm gonna lose. Anyway, there's a zombie. And here we go. So now we're on. But we don't have time to play this correctly. So now I'm thinking, if he doesn't have, well, th this is never gonna work. Look at this funny guy. This this is gonna clear the board. This is now the time, right? He will have to block. Okay, so we do control, and. Uh, And then we sacrifice an artifact. Like that, everybody takes two damage. Yep. Still doesn't work like that. And then you will have to block. Maybe you should have done more damage, but I have 37 seconds.
I'm losing on time again. God, I'm getting rusty. He blocks. Does he have the kill spell? Oh my god, he does. No, it's Barshield Blessing. That didn't work. Why did I die? Was it? Did it really go big enough? Okay, then I have no chance. Damn it, I miscalculated. But of course, the time was up anyway. Oh, because I had the two damage, of course. Well, this could have been interesting if it was allowed to continue, but I've been dirtling way too much during this match, so... And that's the price of playing a new deck, trying to entertain you guys. But I hope at least you saw some of this deck, what it could do and what it could not do. So um, thank you for watching and next time I'll do my best to win a match with the deck. Yeah, I'm just clicking on things now. Thank you for watching.